Hi, today is March 24th. We're walking through the Bible, answering the questions, who am I, who is God, and what is our relationship? I want to remind you that you have identity because you were created in God's image, and God said that he is who he is, so we are who we are. Our value is that Jesus Christ gave his life for us, so we are priceless. And uh, we're going to refer to the scripture, Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 1, 3, 29, Luke 6, 12 through 38, Psalm 67, 1 through 7, and Proverbs 11, 27. One of the things that we are learning in Deuteronomy is that we're Moses is telling the story again. So he went through it. He wrote it down as he went through the experience in the wilderness with the Israelites. And now he's telling this, the younger generation the story. So it's really important to tell the story. And in verse 2 of chapter 2, Then at last the Lord said to me, You have been wandering around in this hill country long enough. Turn to the north. It's time to go north. So is there anything in your life that you've been wandering around and just seems like you're going around the same mountain over and over and over again? It's time to go north. For the Lord, verse 7, has, for the Lord your God has blessed you in everything you have done. He has watched your every step through this great wilderness. During these 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have lacked nothing. God provided the water. He provided the manna, the food, uh, and he provided victory for them. When, they're, when the enemy came against them, they not only defended themselves, but they conquered the territory. So in verse 14, at the end of it, it's, he said, by then, all the men old enough to fight in battle had died in the wilderness as the Lord had vowed would happen. If the, the Lord struck them down until they had all been eliminated from the community. If you remember everybody uh, that was 20 years old or older uh, was destined to die in the wilderness because they refused to go into the promised land and believe God. You know, God, our God, means what he says. He says what he means. And uh, it's important for us to obey. And then in verse 24, then the Lord said, now get moving. So they are going in. They're uh, going in as an army. They're going in uh, as a, a force to be reckoned with. And God is going ahead of them as the, the Lord of the army, the host of the armies. In verse, in this is chapter 3. In verse 22, he said, Do not be afraid of the nations there, for the Lord your God will fight for you. It's just incredible. Uh, if you're on God's side, he will fight for you. So I want to go to Luke chapter 6, verse 12 through 38. Jesus went up on a mountain to pray. That's in verse 12. At daybreak, he called together all of his disciples and chose 12 of them to be apostles, meaning he was going to send them out. And there's a list there. So he was full of the spirit. He was full of power. And when he came down from the mountain, verse 18, there were people all, from all over the place. They had come to hear him and be healed of their diseases. And those troubled by evil spirits were healed. Everyone tried to touch him because healing power went out from him and he healed everyone. So what God gave him in the power of the Holy Spirit, he gave to others. Verse 27, uh, he, before that in 20 through 27, this is what we know as in Matthew as the Beatitudes. He's teaching the crowds. And there's one that I want to really highlight, verse 27. But to you who are willing to listen, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who hurt you. And then he says in verse 32, if you love only those who love you, why should you get credit for that? Even sinners love those who love them. Anybody loves 
a person who loves them. It's when you love the people who do not love you that you're an exception. And verse 30, 33, if you do good only to those who do good to you, why should you get any credit? Again, everybody does that. If you lend money only to those who can repay you, with interest, I might say, why should you get credit? Even sinners will lend to other sinners for a full return. Love your enemies, do good to them. Lend to them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great, and you will be acting as children of the Most High. For he is kind to those who are unthankful and wicked. You must be compassionate, just as your Father is compassionate. Do not judge others. Everybody is quoting this. Do not judge. Do not judge. Do not judge. You have no right to judge me. Here it is. Verse 37. Do not judge others and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others or it will all come back against you. Forgive others and you will be forgiven. I like to understand that. Well, I like to understand it anyway. But if I look in the mirror and... If I look at other people and I judge them, when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm going to be judging myself the same way. And other people will be judging me also the same way. So if you're going to judge, you're going to get judged. So give mercy and love. Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together to make room for more. Running over and poured into your lap, the amount that you give will determine the amount you get back. Psalm 67, may God be merciful and bless us. May his face smile with, with favor on us. Let me repeat that. May his face smile with favor on us. May your ways be known throughout the earth, our God. Your saving power among people everywhere. Verse 4, let the whole world sing for joy because you govern the nations with justice and guide the people of the whole world. Verse 7, yes, God will bless us and all people all over the world will fear him. I was really struck this morning with an overwhelming fear of God. If I keep that fear throughout the day, I'll make better decisions. Unfortunately, I forget. I don't know. If, well, I'm sure I'm not alone, but there is a healthy fear of God. And if I have a fear of God and the consequences of disobeying, then it will be, it will be a lot easier for me not to be afraid of other things and, uh, and not to make poor choices. Proverbs eleven twenty seven: if you search for good, you'll find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. What wisdom is that? So we have a God that takes care of us. We have a God who gives us power of the Holy Spirit. We have a God who heals us. We have a God who heals through us and he gives us wisdom. And I want you to have an absolutely amazing, blessed day. Share these videos so that God's word may be heard.